The Undertaker just set the internet ablaze, and in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what he had to say about AEW, Tony Khan. You have got to hear what the dead man just said, to the point where, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh no, oh no, The Undertaker went after Tony Khan. I am waiting, legitimately waiting for the response that Tony Khan gives The Undertaker, because The Undertaker did not hold back whatsoever. Now, I want to preference this a few ways. I'm going to defend The Undertaker, but I'm also going to defend AEW. We're dealing with an old school guy. We're dealing with someone who has been around the block for quite some time. We're also dealing with someone who has went through and was very vital in the Monday Night Wars between WCW and WWE. He was in the trenches. He was a guy that is still loyal to Vince McMahon to this day, despite all of the horrific allegations made against him, okay? So he is a WWE guy. He is a WWE lifer. He had the opportunity to go to WCW. He opted not to go to WCW, so you have to keep that in mind. Now, with all that being said, what he had to say about AEW, there is a lot of truth in it. There's also... A little bit of a question mark behind it, okay? I just want to prepare you that because one last thing to set the foundation. We have to keep in mind that All Elite Wrestling, started in 2019, is the fastest growing wrestling promotion ever, okay? In their first few months, they signed some of the biggest names in wrestling outside of WWE, WWE. Okay, they also signed Chris Jericho away from WWE before they even had a television deal. Tony Khan, Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks. Pivotal figures in helping launch AEW. They got a TV deal after they held one show. Okay? And then they went on and signed some of the biggest names in all of wrestling. You were Brian Danielson's, John Motsley's, Adam Copeland's, Christian Cage, Mercedes Monet, Okada. There's so much talent. Adam Cole, Samoa Joe. There's so much talent, I'm forgetting some. So I just want to preference that. Now, let's get into what The Undertaker had to say because I'm going to be very detailed about what he had to say because I don't want it to come out of context. Now, I posted this up on Wrestling News Co., so you can go and check it out there. Now, The Undertaker, he gave his thoughts on AEW and Tony Khan during a recent Q&A on his Patreon account while discussing the rivalry in the past between WWE Raw and SmackDown back in the day. Undertaker said, Hopefully, a lot of people don't think the way I do, but hopefully one day AEW gets their craft together and genuinely creates some competition. That's probably not a popular take, from most WWE insiders. But the but the way I look at it, competition's only gonna make it's only gonna make you better. His co-host then brought up how AEW has great talent, but the behind the scenes issues need to be resolved. Taker said that WCW made WWE like the taste of beating them in the attitude error before WWE turned things around. And question if AEW, if the AEW president was the right person to lead a wrestling company. He said, I agree with you. I don't think there is a true leader in the locker room. I'm not sure. I have nothing against the man, you know. But I don't know that Tony is the right guy to run a company. I mean, his heart's in a good place and he wants to do something. But I don't know that he has the acumen to run a wrestling company against the juggernaut that is WWE. But hey, I could be wrong. There was that one other time I was wrong. I hope they get it together, and we do have some, and he means competition. It's better for the wrestlers. It's better for the audience, the fans. It's better for everything. He then went and talked about the ongoing relationship between WWE and TNA. He sure to say about how he thinks that WWE working with them for the long term is being done to sign their talent while AE, or excuse me, TNA is there just for the exposure. Putting TNA aside, let's focus on this. Do they have great talent? Yes. 
do they have a lot of backstage issues, including the CM Punk incident, including Jack Perry having heat? Yes, your uh, Andrade issues, people a la House of Black not wanting to put others over cleanly. There's a lot there, and it's all true. Is AEW great for the wrestling industry? Of course it is. Do we want AEW to be around? Of course we do. We want them to legitimately challenge WWE like they did a few years ago and for multiple years. Do I think Tony Khan is the guy to run a wrestling company? I don't know. I honest to God don't know. Based off of comments made by CM Punk and based on backstage reports, Based on what people have said publicly, I question it. I think they have turned things around as of late, but I think for the last year, things have been sideways. And I think it went completely south the night that, well, actually the night that of all uh, all out, right? Of 2022, CM Punk, press conference, everything like that. That's when everything went downhill, and slowly but surely they're trying to rise tides and turn things around, but right now they're just sideways. If you're going to replace a Tony Khan, which you're not, by the way, who would that be? I'll tell you why they're not going to replace him. He owns the company. He's not going to take himself out of this. This is something that he dreamed about since he was a child, right? We've heard the stories about how when he was a kid, He would fantasy book, right? He'd have his own little promotion. His father is a billionaire. The guy works insane hours. He lives, breathes, eats, sleeps, raps, pro wrestling. He is a he is a smart fan, right? He is a fan. You're not gonna get this guy out of power. The only way you're going to get this out of power is if he is facing horrific allegations and or is facing serious felony charges. That's it. And I don't think, since AEW is a privately held company, that they're going to necessarily come in there and make changes unless they start losing TV partners and deals, and sponsorships, and there's a huge media backlash. So the chances of AEW having anyone but Tony Khan book their product, run their company, for the next 10 years, unless Tony Khan dies, has horrific allegations against him, goes to prison, he's going to be in charge. So, I would ask those out there, Don't root for the demise of AEW. Support them and want to see them thrive. This is coming from a guy who is both a WWE fan and an AEW fan. This is a guy that has bought tickets to both promotions. This is a guy that has been a WWE lifer since I can remember. I'm almost 30. So I'm going to say at least from 97, when I was like three, I've watched WWE. So I have action figures of them. We want to see AEW succeed. Heck, I buy action figures for my son. I want to see AEW succeed. This is not an anti-AEW rant. Let me know down in the comments area below what do you think of Undertaker's comments. I will see y'all in the next video.